have Noella here. Hello, Noella. Oh, I wish I could tell the viewers how you punished me. <laughs> oh, how did I punish? But it's okay. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, but we can go into that too. <laughs> it's also showbiz. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right, so uh, should we begin with Kobe Rana or Moesha? Who, who do you want? Kobe Rana. Okay, so Kobe is reacting to the Ghana Tourism Authority's reaction to the earlier claim that they had banned, you know, his movie from showing. Yeah. And I uh, caught up with him. Here's we received what he letters. We received messages, calls from all our venues in Accra. And then they told us that the Ghana Tourism Authority under the orders or instructions of Kwesi Ajemai, their boss, says that they should not show the film with one with the president's restriction on cinemas, but our venues are not cinemas, universities and hotels. They are the same places that events have been going on. For example, CCB Auditorium KNUST few days before I directed and performed at a beauty pageant there, I was at Ashanti Music Awards held there. So that venue is not a cinema and it has got nothing to, that, to do with that reason. Yes. So it's obvious that reason is not true. That COVID-19 instruction by the press, we are not part of it because no cinema will even open for us. You understand? So and the second reason they give them is that they are not registered with them to hold entertainment events. I don't think any hotel or any school needs permission from Ghana Tourism Authority to hold programs at their school auditoriums or to hold any entertainment programs in their hotels. So in the nutshell, these reasons are a lie, a big lie. And it means that they just want to stop the movie. We are not pointing fingers. What we know is what we put out there, that we Ghana Tourism Authority under the instructions of Kwesi Ajemai, Akwesi Ajemai. So we have boldly put that on, on my Instagram. We put the progress there every time. We keep appealing to His Excellency, who we know that he means well to the creative arts industry to intervene on our behalf. And we are still waiting for justice because we know that what Akwesi Ajemai, the CEO of Ghana Tourism Authority, ordered his people and the policemen to do was completely illegal and we do not deserve that as creative artists.